So I'm here in the south of Belgium here. It's uh, Rossignol and uh, stupid humanity. First world war. Stupid humanity. Yeah. All wars by the aristocracy. Yeah. Rossignol. So let's have a look. Yeah, bloody aristocracy. So this is you know Rossignol. That's where I am. It's uh, the Battle of Rossignol. So this is in the Ardennes. Well, later on, oh, they did it again. The Battle of Rossignol was the uh, the second of August, August the second, nineteen forty, fourteen, nineteen fourteen. Yeah. So I'm here in the Ardennes again. So they did it twice. You know, it's all forest here, as far as you can look, forest. So there's a lot of place to shoot around, and you know, not to hit so many like civilians. So they did it twice. It's every time the same structure. Like the battle in Russia, Napoleon did it, so all the Frenchies died in the winter. They make sure, you know, the people die. Like here. We are a farmed race. And over there, somewhere, that way, there is the castle of the, the Mother of Darkness. Where they, Dutrou, he brought the kiddies. I'm going to have a look there later, but it's going to rain, so... So at the beginning of the war, the Frenchies looked like this, in the... Uh, in Pharaoh's war colours of the aristocracy, eh? So the Germans, they just picked them out in the forest, they're just sitting ducks. So let's go to the cemetery, this is all from the war, I think. You know, this... <coughs> this, uh, this hill here, the bridge. Uh, Heartbreak Ridge. <laughs> you see, I don't get any further. It's still full of mines here. And here you see there's a different different vegetation here. There's probably a lot of bodies still in there, you know, rotting and well, it's all. Yeah. So probably full of mines or a minefield. Still now 2018. How many years ago? Yeah, that's all forest here. So how do I get there? To walk all the way around them. Now you see the commander of the 5th German army, a prince. Do you hear me? It's a fucking prince! So who made the first world war? Got an obelisk on his head. Wakey wakey, the same thing as on the Spitfire, same colours. They're the same bunch on both sides. So don't obey your masters. He's got a crown on his belt. Another obelisk. Don't obey your masters. They're not Germanic, they're not French. No. And if you look at it carefully, you know, the women, they have an alliance with the aristocracy when they raped them on the first night of the marriage in the Middle Ages. If you look at it carefully, the women, they lost, they won two world wars. They won two world wars. Now, if there is a divorce, you know, the children go to the woman. 50% of the marriages, they divorce. So, you know, this is a way to raise, this is the Horus Matrix. To reshape human mankind. To reshape man, to recreate man. Not anymore after the image of God, but after the image of the evil one set on. Yeah, it's all forest here. Beautiful. Oh, cemetery. There's a German flag, a French flag, a oh, Templar's cross. It has six points on it. And I suppose on this side, six points. On that side, they make six, six, six. And I bet you on the, on the back side there's nothing. Yeah, an obelisk. Yeah, look. Uh, there's a Templar's cross on top, just like this one here. Templar's cross. So you die. They send you into the war, uh, and they put a Templar's cross on top of your, your tomb. Your stupid humanity. Don't obey your masters. You know, say no to them, even if they threaten you, because they do. It says there, uh, 1108 dead French. They don't even know them. They're just here in the, in the thing behind it, probably. They don't even have a cross. So. 
The Jews always say, you know, there was a mechanized killing in Auschwitz, but the Euro with the Europeans they did the same thing. They just shot them to pieces, a mechanized war. If that didn't work, they used poison gas grenades. Oh, well, there is another six. So it's four times six. So double it up, whatever. It's a horrible monument. Horrible. But, you know, it's all sinister black magic around it. And it's a pyramid, eh? Of course, it's a pyramid with a Templar's cross on it. And the Templar's cross, it comes from a pyramid. You know, stupid humanity. Mechanized killing for the Europeans, just as they did in Auschwitz, in the Sobibor. Same thing. So, why don't you Jews talk about that, eh? Europeans are the biggest victims in, in the entire history. For the Indians, the American Indians, it's only lasted for, you know, 200 years. For the blacks too, the Arabs is just beginning now. The Europeans, they endured the terror for 2,000 years. The Romans, you know, the Napoleon, the 30-year war, two world wars. Because these tough people, it needed something, you know, to to get them into order, yeah. Oh, stupid humanity. See, this is Freemasonry, this is Pharaonic. If there's an obelisk, which stands for Osiris, there must be some water next to it to represent Isis. The female element is water and the river Nile. Oh, that's why you died for, you stupid. What do you think you're doing, stupid? This plant here is the Acacia, Freemasonry. Freemasonry. They love the Acacia. Oh, look, they even got a, a black and white checkerboard there. That's why you died for, stupid. Stupid, I tell you, stupid. So, and there's another cemetery down the road here. So let's have a look here. So, this is a French cemetery. Let's go and have, have a look at the German cemetery. Uh, I'll just empty my two beers here. Uh, there was a guy here invited me, I could sleep in his garden. Another cemetery, French, with two Germans. Uh, hypocrites, eh? Oh, look, it looks like it has a form. Here's a triangle, there's a triangle. Can't really see it. Probably a big... Uh, it looks like a big uh, Templar's cross here. Here too, you see? There's the... Uh, this is like a Swiss cross here. You know, inside here, inside the walls here. There's the, uh, the Freemason, Pharaonic thing here, as you see on the fronts of houses. Lovely trees here. I think they're oak trees. A lot of oak trees there. Yeah. It's all forest. Now look, the cemetery is in a big hexagram. You know, one pyramid up and one down. Like the, uh, the, the, fra the flag of Israel. But it has nothing to do with the Jews. The flag of Israel, the, the, you know, the Star of David. David was a king, a pharaoh. Now, wakey, wakey. The Jews, the Orthodox Jews, they don't accept the flag of Israel. It's, it's, not, it's not like in the Torah. Uh, it's all forest. Beautiful here. Yeah. yeah, look. Another German soldier. With the Templar's cross. Hey, another Templar's cross. They put some officers here. They just put them all together, you know. Yeah, the, the Germans in the First World War, they executed 120 uh, inhabitants of the village here. I think they killed everybody here. Children, women, everybody. Nice, eh? Yeah, there's six bushes here. So, and then they did it again in the, in the Second World War. Well, they are the Templars who did it, eh? The Germans just had to obey. Only because the uh, inhabitants here, they, um, they treated uh, with doctors and a hospital, they treated the, uh, 
the wounded French soldiers, so they all shot them to pieces. Because the war is there, so the men die. You get it? We are a bread race. That's why. That's why they killed them all. It says Monument de Fusillier. Sa Majesté, her, his, his, his Majesty. 1925 here afterwards, Rossignol. The lion, the aristocracy, the hypocrites. No, they, 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 they completely destroyed the village. Alors voilà, en 14, les Français arrivaient tout fiers avec leur beau costume, avec une bande rouge. Et alors les gens du village, les petits gamins qui avaient été au bois, qui avaient vu tous les Allemands qui étaient pleins la forêt, et ils leur disent faites attention parce que les Allemands sont dans la forêt de Mélier. Hein, la Mélier, c'est ici plus haut, Crossignol. Et alors, oh, mais nous, 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 on est fort, on a les bons, hein, on est bien armés et tout, on va aller leur casser la gueule aux Allemands. Puis lève la partie, puis peut-être euh, deux, trois heures après, ils revenaient avec la queue entre les jambes et ils jetaient leurs habits et leurs armes et tout ça dans le ruisseau et leur paye qu'ils venaient d'avoir. Puis ils venaient se fourrer dans le village pour faire à croire que, pour que les Allemands ne les, ne les prennent pas pour euh, prisonniers militaires. Et puis alors ils sont venus au village et là-dessus, les Allemands, ils ont pris tous les gens de Rossignol en otage, ils les ont parqués dans, la, dans une prairie ici plus haut. Et ils en ont fusillé, je ne sais plus c'était combien, 120 ou 130, 120. des pauvres habillants, habitants de Rossignol qui n'en pouvaient rien. Avec leur grande gueule, les Français leur ont foutu là. Et alors, ça, ça a toujours été comme ça, quoi. Vu les Français, ils ont toujours vu leur grande gueule, ils sont toujours plus malins que les autres. Ah ah ah, oui. <laughs> so, this guy, he's telling me that the, uh, the French came here, you know, in the, this first world war with their. With their big mouth, you know, typically French. Yeah, we're gonna beat the Germans, we're gonna kill them all. And then they got a, a real bashing by the Germans and they dropped all their rifles. So this guy, he found, the, they, you know, he found the rifle like in the, uh, in the river here. And um, they, they dropped all the, the Frenchies, they dropped all their rifles in the river and then they, they put on, uh, they, 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 they took off their uniforms and they, they hid among the, uh, the villagers here in, in, the, uh, in the village south, in the Ardennes, where the Battle of the Bulge was later on, 20 years later. So uh, this is why they, uh, the, the Germans, they murdered all the, uh, the villagers, 120 people. So this guy, he, uh, and then he, he, gave me, uh, he gave me some cartridges of the First World War. He m'a donné quelques cartouches. On a just bu un peu de pastis. We drank some uh, some pastis. So he's got him. His uh, he's working here. Fantastic. <laughs> Opening up all the, a lot of engines here. There's another engine. <laughs> it's a, I like it here. I like Belgium. I like the, the Wallonians. It's fantastic here. <laughs> so, but I'd, I'd rather not get caught with this in my backpack. You know, it gives me a lot of problems. Cost me 200 euros at least, you know. Wow, he's got a, he's got an old truck here. It's a Ford from 1945. Wow. Here's the engine. Ah, it's from the war too, probably. Oh, amazing. It's like a, uh, it's like an open museum here. So this is about killing the. Uh, uh, the civilians here in the First World War in Rossignol. So they brought them to uh, Arlon and they all shot them to pieces. Eh? And they probably all put them all together in one cemetery because it's all chopped meat anyway. Huh? Uh, I don't know what would this have to do with it. Uh, it says the martyrs. Stupid humanity, eh? It's all forest here. Beautiful, I like it here. People are nice. Like the bloke before, it was fantastic. <laughs>